Are you ready to ask Mitch the hard-hitting questions? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you, you guys better. look like you got some stuff written down. Are you ready to roll? My question is, what impact do you have on the community? Oh, wow. Uh, first hard-hitting question of the, of the impact in the community. The one place that I've attached, there's two places that I've attached to in the past more than anything, and that's the Special Olympics. It's just so much fun to be a part of that group and, and to be there and just to have unadulterated good times and hang out, as well as feed more Western New York, which is just like, uh, especially during COVID, kind of got some of the, uh, the food out to people who were having a tough time getting food because you know, it was just a trying time for everything. It's a good question. Sorry, what got you into football? What got me into football? <clears throat> well, um, so originally I played flag football until I got to high school because my parents kind of wanted me to wait to play tackle football. And then uh, it was just part of, like, well, my friends were doing it and going into high school, I wanted to do it. Uh, it's one of those things that I, I thought just looked fun and the camaraderie was cool and the friendship was at an all-time high. Okay, my question, who will be the main players on offense and defense who will lead you to the Super Bowl? Uh, that's a great question. Well, I think, um, I think the easy answer to that is Josh Allen, right? You know, every franchise, every team is driven by their quarterback. And the cool thing about this team is we got a superstar back there. What would you be if you football I'm See, I'm so used to like this football stuff here. It's like, it's like, it very, oh, you guys are bringing the hard hitters. Um, what would I not be? So I think I, I always loved animals. I thought that was cool. So in some sort of veterinarian or just working with kids would be sweet. What's your favorite thing to do other than football? I like to sit down, <laughs> like I'm doing right now. I like to sit down. I like to find a good couch to sit on, and I like to hang out with my kids. Uh, but I'm not being a parent. I'm not playing football. I like to hang out with my buddies and just kind of be a dude and just chill. How do you feel like it makes you feel positive and motivated at the Um, Man, it's a t that, that's that's a really tough thing to do because, you know, losses you take so personally in this business and, you know, everyone has a part to play in a loss. So for us, it's just, you know, you win as a team and you lose as a team, right? So if someone has a play that they feel like was one of the reasons why you lost, you, you just, you tell them that nothing in this game is off of one play. It's an accumulation of many, many plays. And uh, you kind of just pick them up and you, the nice thing about this game is we play a lot of football, so we'll see you we'll see the next time we go around. What was your favorite movie as a kid? Favorite movie as a kid? You know, you guys know who the Rugrats are? Have you ever heard of the Rugrats? No, it might have been a little bit too old for you. The Rugrats Go to Paris was cool. Uh, anything Winnie the Pooh was on fire. And then uh, as I got older, Spy Kids was a, was a series that was filmed actually in Austin where I grew up, so I was obsessed with Spy Kids. Um, what do you do to calm yourself down after a loss? What do I do to calm myself down after a loss? Oh, uh, man, uh, a lot of stuff that you, uh, you have to be 21 years and older. Uh, but besides that, the best thing you can do is I like to, my family's usually in town for games, and nothing in life is better than family and friends when stuff isn't going well, because they don't care about wins and losses. They don't care about if you play football or not. They don't care about your quote unquote fame. They just care about you as a person. Um, who was the hard, what was the hardest football team to beat? Hardest football team to beat? Um, uh, all of them. Uh, every single team in this business is, uh, you're not gonna find a bad one. Even the ones with the worst records are still very good football teams. Do you feel being famous? How do I feel being famous? Well, the great thing about being an offensive lineman is that no one really cares about who you are, and we always wear helmets. So no one really, unless they're like a diehard football fan, they don't really know who you are, which is perfectly fine by me. <laughs> Guys, I really appreciate your time. And I appreciate your questions. Some of these were very, all of them, were very good questions. And I appreciate you coming out today. So thank you so much. Thanks for the time. Come on!